everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to be showing you, I'm going to call this the medium size lift and reveal box. So I did the smaller version back about three weeks ago for Christmas and that was so well received. Lots of people, when I said I was going to do more sizes, were like, yeah, we'd love some bigger sizes. So this is the medium and I've got a larger size that I'm going to be making and I'll probably share that in a couple of weeks time. So if you haven't seen the lift and reveal, you basically just lift the flap, open it up and it will reveal this section where you'll have your gift and you tie it around the ribbon so it doesn't move but you can also what some people done with the smaller one is they had a gift card in the bottom here you can add more decorative papers here and you can add lots of pattern paper there and it looks quite nice as a little trinket box as well this is usually I have two of everything I make with YouTube I've just done the one so with this tutorial do watch it first and then go and get your measurements all cut because I do change it a little bit through the video and you'll see that as you watch it so I hope you enjoy it and let me show you how I made it Okay, so I've already gone ahead as always and I've cut everything ready. So we'll go through all of the mats and layers and the detail shortly. You're gonna need, so I've got three pieces here. So this is using 12 by 12 because I've made it bigger. Like I said, if you want to make the smaller version, then I'll link it up if I haven't already done so. And you can check that one out. So a piece of 12 by 12 and you wanna score at three, six and nine. Okay, and then rotate it and score at three and nine. Then this piece here is gonna be for the reveal part, so the, the section that lifts up, and this is just under six by 12. So literally just take a slither off, so it's, you can see I'm just hitting that marker just before the next score line, and again there you can see. So just take that in, and then you wanna score along this side that's just slightly shorter than the six, you wanna score at three. So this whole side will be three inches wide, but this side's gonna be slightly less. And I've just wrote there base. So just on that piece, just put base, and it will just help you just understand everything when we go to put it together. And then along this side, it's easier to just score at three inches on each end. So just rotate it and score again at three on both ends. That way they're both at three. This middle section will be slightly shorter than six inches, which means it's all gonna sit nicely within the box. And then this piece here is the lid. So this is just now 12 by four. Along the 12 inch side, just score at three and nine, the same as the main piece. And along the four, just score at three. This one inch section is gonna be the, the flap that you'll see at the front and we'll put the Velcro underneath that because that's the closure. Okay, so that's all the scoring done. Next, you want to fold and burnish all of your score lines. Okay, so we'll start off with the largest piece here. And you just want to cut up all of these side score lines here, just up to the first one. Okay, so you just have all of these sections. And then with this one here, no, actually we'll do the lid. So with this piece, the smallest piece, where you've got these small rectangles at either end, just remove those completely. Actually, this piece doesn't need to be that big. We don't need these flaps. because This is the first one I'm making in this size using the extra piece because the smaller size you make out of um, all of it from one piece of A4. So actually this can just be six by four. Yeah, six by four and just do the score line at three. So I'm actually gonna remove these bits. So I will put a little pop up to say that this actually doesn't need to be that size. So I've not wasted too much this is just going to my scrap I might just tidy that up on my trimmer as well but that's just the lid piece it's actually going to stick on top of here so with this one that's the base so actually so we just need to cut down each of these score lines either end like so and then it doesn't really matter whether you have this over that side or it on the inside, it really doesn't matter. I'll probably just keep it on the inside there. Okay, so I'm going to, before I do that, I'm gonna add my holes. So you wanna get your hole punch and I'm also gonna get my pattern paper. So I'm gonna have these two. So you want the base on the bottom. Let's get rid of this one so you can see what I'm doing here. 
so I'm going to have this one on the bottom section. So I want to stick this down first so that I can add the hole punches. In fact, I'm just thinking, no, I'm going to go with the plane because I just think that way it will show the gift off a bit better. If it's not, if it's, if the paper's quite busy, then I mean, you're still going to see it, but I just think it will really pop when they lift the box up if the paper's a little bit plainer. So that one, and then I'm going to have that one on the back, and these all measure, so all of the panel pieces, these are two and three quarters by five and three quarters. And then I'm going to use my proper dial just so I can get back in the card a bit further, but I want to do two holes. I'm going to do them a little bit further apart than I've done the other one, just because this is a bigger section. So you want to get it in the middle, or thereabouts. I'm kind of happy with that. And then I'm going to follow it down and try and get it about the same distance there. That'll do. Um, once the gift's over it, you're not going to see any of that anyway. And then I'm just going to feed the ribbon. Rub out the word base. I mean, if they lift it up further, far enough, then they will see that. I'm just going to tie this now in a bow. I've cut it longer than I probably need, but I'd rather have it a bit longer until I put the gift in it so I know it'll fit. And you can always double wrap it. But I'll do like that for the minute. And then I'll just tidy the ends. Like I said, it may well get trimmed, but that will do for now. So next we can stick the sides of these together. So I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to add my glue. And then just bring that over. And then whilst that one's drying, I'll do the same on this side. Okay, so that's now all stuck together. And then it's up to you now whether you want to cut a curve shape, which is how i done the smaller version, or you can just cut straight across. So I think this time I'm just going to cut straight across. If you want to do a pencil line first and then trace, you know, follow along with that, then you can, but I'm just going to snip across. And again, so that is our reveal section now, all ready for us to attach to the box. So we'll get these now, and we'll start putting this one together. This one facing you will be the front of the box, okay? So that will be, I would suggest that these sections here are the last ones you stick down. So I'm gonna bring up this one here. I'm gonna trim off anything that may overhang at the end. I'm not going to worry about it at the moment. Usually I take wedges off of all these squares, but I think people are going to maybe put it together slightly differently. So I'm just going to bring up each side. So there's that one there. And then do the same, fold that one back on this one. Like so. And I just realised we'll cut, end up cutting off another section of this, but you can still do that when it's together. Just spend a minute just squaring that all off, making sure you've got nice right angles. It's going to become a really nice strong box with all of the layers that we're sticking on top of each other. And because I'm using that glue, it's going to really strengthen it. So now I can just bring this one around and that's going to cover. It just means you have a nice finish on the front. You don't see all these kind of raw edges. So again, just add your glue. And I'm just going to bring that one over. And just repeat again the same on the other side. Now, actually, there's two ways we could do this. So what's going to happen now is this is going to go on here, and then that's going to go over the top. Just wanted to re really reinforce that piece so it's nice and strong. Now, you could stick this onto here to add more strength to this piece, which is what I think I'm actually going to do, and then I'm just going to follow along again along that side. So, Or you can take those off. It's entirely up to you. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to do this one with them all. I, th I think the more strength it's got, the better. And you can see it fits in really nicely because we've made it slightly smaller. And then I'm going to put my glue on the triangular part. And then I'm going to just lay that over there. And then, I mean, this piece is slightly bigger. So I'm just hoping that isn't going to actually interfere with it. So just thinking about it, the whole point of cutting this piece smaller is so that it um, 
fits in there. So it should still go in quite freely. So again, just bear that in mind. But I think it, 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 it still does wrap around really nicely. So I'm going to go for it, see what it's like. You can always, you know, remove it. You don't have to have those pieces on there. So now I'm just going to just trace along like so and just make sure that's stuck. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. But like I said, just you know, have a play around first, make sure yours does slide in. If it doesn't, then don't stick that on the side, just trim them off. And now this one, just to finally, you know, reinforce it, that's gonna go on the top there, and then that will lift up. So I'm just going to add my glue onto this piece. Okay, so now that goes in there nicely. All that's left to do is decorate with all these mats and layers, which again, with that two and three quarters by five and three quarters. So I've got the butterfly, which is going to go underneath here. And then I've got the plain one on the top, and then I've got that butterfly, which is going to go on there. Now the butterfly dies are from, these are old Bright Rosa. It's this one here from the actual butterfly band, but if you've got the butterfly border dies, then there's a similar size in there as well, and you get the background die. So I've used those. Papers some of you might recognise are actually a very old first edition pad, and it's the Mariposa. So I've got a little bit there, but I pulled out mainly from my scraps. So I'm going to stick all of these down. Okay, so that is all of the mats and layers, and you can see now when you open it up how nice that looks. Really pleased with that. Love the butterfly paper there. And then I've just got some Velcro dots here. I'm just going to pop a pair just under there, and again at that end there, and then just close that. And as long as the bottom one kind of attaches, just carefully prise them apart. And then you'll just be able to really push them down. And that's starting to really strengthen up. And then it closes up. Obviously you can wrap ribbon around it, you might want to put a hole punch down here and also at the back, then you could have a nice ribbon tie at the top. You could add magnets there if you wanted. You could also put ribbon and little holes there and have a handle so it's a little gift bag. There's loads of ways to you know change it up a bit more if you want, but yeah, I think it's nice. And also you can do those closer together, the hole punches. You could go out a little bit further, and if you've got a smaller hole punch, which on the cropper dial, you have the one eighth of an inch, so you just move that down. It will be a smaller hole that will punch so but you've got room there to write a little message I know some people with the smaller one they had a gift card in the bottom here as another little surprise and you could have surprise on there you, there's no reason now why you couldn't put a piece of pattern paper over that piece so that's all nice and secure and then you could have the word or stamps you know surprise die cut something like that so, so I hope you've enjoyed this slightly bigger size so this is going to be the medium now that I'm going to call this and then I will hopefully in a couple of weeks share a larger size again and then we've got a nice kind of trio of lift and reveal boxes so thanks for watching and I'll be back again very soon with another tutorial bye